Every colour in nature can actually be comprised of our three primary colours, red, green and blue. So notice that this is different to the three primary colours that we use in paint. If we mix red light and blue light together, for example, we get magenta, which is this purpley pink sort of colour. When we add green and blue together, we get cyan. And if I was to mix green and red, we get yellow. If I bring all three colours of light together, you'll see that they mix together to create white. You know in nature, not all features are made up of just red, green, blue, yellow, magenta and cyan. There's a greater range of colours and intensities. And you can see this if I look at my colour chart, for example. So if I was to click on this yellow area here, you'll be able to see the colour patch yellow appears here. And you can see that it's comprised of high levels of red and green and the highest amount being 255. Likewise, if I click on the cyan area, you'll see that it's comprised entirely of blue and green and there's no red contribution there. So what I can actually do is I can vary the proportions of light that go in to make this mix, for example. So if I was to reduce the amount of green that goes into this area here, I can create an orange colour so you can see quantitatively just how much light is required to create this orange colour, both in terms of its red and its green components. And I can do the same to create any colour of the spectrum. And as you see in nature, we have a lot of these different types of colours, so different tones and different intensities. And this is all based on the, the component of light that goes into it and the amount of that light that's there as well. So for example, if I was to click on this leaf, this particular area here, it's a sort of peach type shade. And you can see that this is actually created by a reflectance in blue, green and red. All these colours mixed together in relatively high amounts to give us this colour. And on this example of fish here, if I click on this particular colour here, you can also see that it's a mixture of three different colours, red, green and blue, in varying amounts. And again, I could change the intensity or the, the amount of light that I mix in with that, and that will not only change the colour or tone, but it will change the intensity or brightness of that colour. 